And welcome back into your Alaska. Joe Cook here this Tuesday evening with your local sports cast. The Alaska Gold Panthers couldn't quite put away the Anchorage Bucks on Monday night. Game five of their seven game series at Grand Memorial Park. And this was a close game with lots of key defensive plays. Ooh, this guy right here getting the out from the foul area. The Panthers were up one, but Zane Goritz would bring in the game time run while breaking his bat on the play at the top of the six for the Bucks. John Pendergrass had a solid outing for Alaska, giving up four hits, striking out four with no earned runs. He got insurance in the bottom of the seventh when Brian Lee's double brings in two Panthers in Alaska. They lead three to one, but the Bucks would tie the game again in the top of the eighth, the base knock in the RBI. And in the bottom of the ninth, with the game-winning one coming home, Bucks shortstop Taylor Walls throws out Matt Galelich at the plate. The Bucks will break the tie with the sacrifice squeeze bunt. Ed Boyles gets the last K of the game for Anchorage to secure a 4-3 win in 10 innings. Coach definitely put the sign on and I was all for it. I thought it was a great idea and then just committed to it and got it down. After Taylor Wall's great play at short, we had some momentum there and then that just carried us through the later innings. I think we played great defense today. Like you said, Malik Jones had uh, at least eight or nine ground balls right at him. Uh, JD at third base had some great plays on bunts, um, coming down the ball. Uh, bounce back tomorrow. I mean, I think we just come out and swing it like we did today. Um, pitchers come in and throw strikes. Um, just keep swinging, keep playing hard. Former Alaska Nanook Ryan Anderson will be shooting in the Pan American Games in a few days. Anderson, who finished his senior year at UAF, was an All-American in both air rifle and small bore. He was the national runner-up in small bore just this year. He becomes the third Nanook in the last 15 years to shoot in the Pan American Games. Matt Rawlings, he won gold in air rifle back in 2011. Anderson is one of 25 shooters on Team USA. He will shoot in the 50-meter three position on July 19th in Toronto. And another former Nanook shooter, Mats Erickson, needs votes to win the NCAA Elite 89 contest. You can vote twice a day for the All-American. He's in the field of 91 and the field dwindles to 30 this Thursday at 4 p.m. Visit webcenter11.com to get the link to vote for Erickson. The Elite 89 award goes to the person with the highest GPA at a national championship. Erickson has won the award for rifle two years in a row. The Fairbanks 49ers and Alaska Wild hosted the Valley in weekend Legion baseball action. The 49ers took Friday's night's game against Valley 4-1, and the Wild split with the Valley on Saturday. The Wild defeated Valley 11-5 in Game 1 as Mike Fitzpatrick. He led the way with a 3-for-5, 2-RBI game. Valley came back for a 10-3 victory in 7 innings in Game 2. Dalton McHugel scattered 4 hits, struck out 10, gave up 1 earn for Valley. Then on Sunday, the 49ers held on for a 9-8 win over the Valley. This year, the top eight Legion teams make it to the playoffs. And the 49ers, they are ranked sixth with a 7-3 record. The Wild are in the eighth spot with a 6-4 record after Valley's loss to the 49ers on Sunday. The Wild and 49ers are scheduled to play this Wednesday night in league action. About a week ago, we did a story featuring local fighter Cody Wareham, who went to Las Vegas to fight in the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation Championships. The competition ended on Saturday. Wareham came in with a national amateur title in her class and had a first round bye, but she lost her opening match to eventual tournament champion Mina Grusander of Finland by armbar in 1 minute 46 seconds on Thursday. But despite the loss and the cancellation of her second match, Wareham earned the bronze medal for Team USA in her first IMMAF competition in the straw weight 115 pound class. And the summer softball season continued over the weekend with another big tournament, which brought in teams from around the state. The Hezray Softball Complex was a location for the annual Golden Day Softball Tournament. 46 teams competed over the weekend. Three Fairbanks teams won three of the five divisions. In the men's division, Team Grizz of Fairbanks won this year's title. Sons of Pitches are the men's co-ed champions, and the women's title went to Pitch Slack. The Raging Homers of Anchorage won the co-ed comp title, and AK Sports, also out of Anchorage, won the co-ed CDF title. The next softball tournament is the Fort Wainwright Open co-ed tourney on August 1st. And lastly, we end with a reminder of what's happening at the Carlson Center this week. The 55th Wheel Game starts tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. with the Toe Kick event. The first day sessions on Wednesday will also feature the Kneel Jump Race of the Torch Run and the prelims in the Four Man Carry and the One Hand Reach events. The night session will feature opening ceremonies and the welcome at 6 p.m. Then in the nightcap, they will have the One Hand Reach and Four Man Carry finals along with dance performances and the fish cutting contest. Watch KTVF Sports right here for WEO coverage throughout the week and on Saturday.
And that's it for sports tonight. Your full weather forecast with Mike Schultz is up next after the break, and we'll catch you next time.